Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge Blade Works. <clears throat> so I got some uh, books, some more books out of my uh, library tonight. And as I'm dragging them out of my library, I'm trying to put them in boxes and organize them so I can put them back in there after we're done with the knife room and all that good stuff. We're kind of moving some stuff around in my house and my garage and whatever. And my girlfriend's been busy with her shop. And uh, good news is, she's almost done with the website setup for the store. We actually have so much stuff going in stock in the store. Well, she does, that she's gonna put it in a whole nother website where when you click on our, on our website, it'll go to that, to the knife store and everything. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's kind of exciting. And uh, anyways, I was messing around in the library and I figured I'd drag out some more books. I had a lot of interest in the tree books. So trees, this is uh, books on trees. Anyways, I have a whole bunch of these, uh, like boxes of these little, these are kind of like my favorite little books right here because you can throw them in your backpacks. But this is a, a guide to familiar American trees and this is a golden nature guide book. And this is a, I believe this is an antique because this thing's pretty old. I mean, I don't see no dates when it was printed, but, but these are great little books because they have a lot of uh, really good detailed pictures and they talk about the needles of the trees and the leaves and uh, where they grow and uh, what they do in the winter, summer, autumn, fall, your different seasons or whatever. And uh, the undersides of the leaves, the top sides of the leaves, the veins. I mean, they're really detailed, these little books. And, and this is something that you can throw in your backpack. And, and they're so small and stuff, you kind of don't even notice they're there. And what I do is I like to put a lot of my notes about stuff that I learned about trees. I put them in, in my... Uh, phone a lot of the times and then when I get home I'll dig through my books and then I'll, I'll write them in my uh, I'll take them out of my phone and I'll write them down in the books that I have or whatever but uh, one of my favorite tree books is a guide to field identification trees of North America and this is a this is a golden book and this is a field guide and this is another one that's just awesome that you can keep in your uh, somebody wrote trees on there duh <laughs> I probably did that. That's the bad part. But anyways, you can keep these in your backpack or in your glove compartment. And these are great. And it has the areas that the trees, what states, what part of the state. It shows where they grow, what kind of trees they are, what the leaves look like, the fruits or the acorns or whatever, what they produce. And uh, a lot of information on these. And... There's a lot of wild edible stuff on trees that people don't realize and, and like their cambium layers and your, your leaves and you can make teas and poultice and whatever with them. And to me, that's really interesting. And uh, so I study up on this stuff as much as I can and I keep a lot of these in my backpack when I'm out in the woods. And uh, it's pretty cool because a lot of these field guides have these little tape measures right here. And you can, you can go in there and uh, look at what size leaf they are and look it up in here and you know, when you're looking at a tree, it'll tell you how big the leaves are and what to expect from that tree in the different seasons. Great book, though. This is one of my favorites right here. And then I have another one, which is a Peterson uh, First Guides Trees, and it's by George A. Petrides, or Petrides. And this is another one that's one of my favorites that you can throw in the pack, throw in your pack and take with you, and, and it's just full of information on these trees. <clears throat> and these are uh, great, like, these are my favorites, these little tiny guys that you can throw in your pack. I mean, I love these little books like this. And you wouldn't expect there'd be this much information in there, but there is. I mean, there's just tons of stuff in here. <clears throat> but if you have a chance to find that book, this is an older one also. If you have a chance to pick these up, grab them up. I, I mean, I look at yard sales, flea market swap meets, malls, bookstores, wherever. I look at, you know, I used to look at stuff online all the time, but I have so many books that I just quit buying them. Uh, anyways, the next one is Redwood, and this is an official National and State Parks handbook. And the reason I grabbed this is I was looking through it, and I believe this was like in a bookstore or something. And it's awesome because it has tons of stories about trees that were cut down and how the sizes that they were, some of the world's biggest redwoods, and uh, a lot of the trees that, that are kind of like famous areas and where they were at and 
what you know if they were on the coast or whatever and it talks about the families that were raised in that area and whatever so I mean this is a great book and they talk about a lot of the different ways and I mean there's a lot of information in this and it's it's not just trees but there's a lot of interesting stuff about trees in this and I, I don't know I loved it there's a lot of good stuff in this book so I had to put it in my library <clears throat> North America trees uh, Richard J Preston jr. Richard J Preston jr. North American trees same thing this one is kind of like a field guide so it's got the measuring measuring uh, deal in the back here this is a thick book really good sized book and this I must have bought this at one of the libraries or something years ago and uh, you can find a lot of really good books at libraries that they, they get sick of seeing them and they're used and abused and whatever and they'll just either throw them away or sell them cheap and that's what I do I end up picking them up and this is a great book for trees because there's just tons of information in here a lot of good pictures it's all black and white every bit of it I don't see any color in here but uh lots of stuff to learn in this book so this is one of my other favorites but anyways I appreciate you guys joining me tonight and I thought it was cool that you know uh, I have so much uh, so many people ask me about different trees and wild edibles and whatever I, I thought I'd bore you guys with these videos and I hope I'm not um, you know please leave good comments nice ones I'm new to YouTube I'm trying my hardest to put out good videos and and I don't want my channel to be boring so I'm trying to do a lot of videos and uh, I'm trying to learn how to do the comments and the, the messages and all that stuff and we've been super busy with knives and uh, you know you guys have been all your support and the subs and everything on the channels and all that it means a lot to me and you know thank you appreciate you guys doing that but uh, check out my girlfriend's website mnoutlawcustom.com you guys have a good night thanks